Can you tell us about what the next step might be in terms of preserving the, the, uh, the uh, photographic and, and storytelling uh, history of Fountain Pines? Well, because the facility was once owned by Louisiana State University, operated as a 4-H club for African Americans. That's where they had to go during segregation. And so the historical perspective is that there are many people that still live in the area uh, around where that camp is located that went there as children. I talked to a lady that went there 50 years ago, her last time, to a camp. And I think they have many stories to tell about the historical significance of that camp uh, in our community. If, what kind of things are you hearing about the historical importance of bringing this camp back? What kind of things did people say to you yesterday? Well, one of the things they were saying to me is that it played a major role in their formation as young people, being able to get away from the towns and cities and go out to the camp. There was an amphitheater there, uh, quiet walks you know, among the pine trees, and just being real close to nature. And uh, in our efforts to restore the camp, we can kind of bring that kind of setting back. What types of things do you envision in the future in terms of forming some type of a cultural center? Will you be making some type of grant proposals? Is this something that's feasible, you see? Yeah, I think it, it is very feasible, and especially for African-American Baptist history, if nothing else, uh, being archived at that facility and placed on display at that facility for persons who will be in Grant Parish, which historically has had a lot of African-Americans in that parish. That was what's called a Carfax riot that took place where the courthouse is now between blacks and white years ago and is in history books. So this is a mix of not only the spiritual but also the natural, the historical, the community based. How do you see the community center coming together? Well I would hope that we could use this as a focal point in our state uh, for African American history studies, a display of possible artifacts that some of these persons that attended that camp may have in their possession uh, and being able to teach our children the significance of quiet time, silence, uh, and community, and being proud of their own African-American history. 